I'm taking off the cable from the rubber mount. There you go. Pull it out. There she blows. So there's how it starts off, folks. You take it, put the cable in through there. that screw on one side and it secures that to the rubber mount and be sure that you have the smaller portion of the carabiner clip inside the rubber thing not the other way around okay secure that Boom. so you start off by hanging that end of that first cable over the top just to secure it and then you just got to go underneath the lower pulley right here feeding it through the adjacent pulley, right there, in the front. And you may have some cases remove the pulley, but we're hoping that you can just push it through, which you can, just takes a little turning of the pulley while you're pulling it through. Okay. And pull it all the way through so you have enough slack, otherwise you may have trouble, you might jump the pulley per se. It's a very long cable, might be as long as 30 feet. So make sure you pull it all the way through. Okay, now that you can see it's seated back in the lower first pulley, now you're in business. You don't have to worry about this right here now it's pulled through. Now you start feeding it. As you can see, he's looping this around so it's a little bit easier to not get tangled. So the first step is you're going to put it over this adjacent pulley. The top pulley right here. Again, you might have to rotate that pulley in order to force it through a bit, just like you did. And he's raising the flag, salute. And that's going over that first pulley. It's really important that you get this pulley squared away. Now, next thing you can see how you got a little ungangly as far as the cable is concerned. It's okay, don't panic. We're good. So now we're going on to the other pulley, and we'll get to that later. There's another fixture on the bottom of that we're going to address that we have another cable separator, oh, we call it. No problem. Okay, so we've gone over that first set of pulleys on the bottom. Pulley bracket holding two pulleys. Okay. And that's the bracket that attaches to the other cable from the leg extension leg curl. All right, so there you go. So, so far, so good. Now he's putting it through the other top pulley. Down, basically. And that top is important to get to again this right because otherwise you're going to be totally confused. Now he's going to go and go under this pulley again. You have to force it a little bit, and if you rotate the pulley, Sometimes it helps, it goes right through in a good shape. So far, so good. All right, got that pulley. Now it's going up and over the outside of the other pulley, coming back down through the front pulley. And now we're going to feed it through the bearing right here, and just feeding it through. Back side of that pulley, right there. Let me get a better shot of that. So it's going right between the middle of those two pulleys, right there. And this is how you reassemble this sucker. Put it back through with the retaining. Again, have it so that the smaller part of the clip is inside, not outside, because you won't be able to open and close it. There we are. You're going to need a socket wrench to secure that. It's all ready to go. Now he had lifted up that weight stack just a little bit, just so you have some slack. But now when it goes back down, and get the weight stack back into position, you can see, boom, voila, all done. Perfect. I really rock and roll. And you can clip your handles onto those now more readily, you'll see. There's two handles that go with it, one on either side. 
Bang, bang, boom. And here we go. Perfect. Now, one other step. You'll notice that on the written directions, there is not this cable separator right here. Now we've added a cable separator so that these cable, four cable drops actually don't get tangled up because this thing has a tendency to twist on you like so. So we're gonna add this one by take, removing this cable and we're gonna add this to the butt base of that. That's the next step. Okay, so it's gonna go up and over this hanging pulley first. Again, you probably just feed it through there. It seems to be a little bit better gap on this one. But if not, you can loosen that pulley and put it through the side. I'll take the pulley out all together. All right, it's okay. You can stuff it through there. That will be the next step. Now, you know, you get enough slack, you can put it through the side and really tight. Why don't you come up and over this cable here? It's coming down from that suspended double pulley. We're going to put this cable separator on right there. And that is going to attach to the bottom of this bracket. So first of all, he's got to get it on there. And then he's putting the pulley back in. Then we put the pulley back in, we put the nut in the back. can make it loose for right now. Now he's attaching the separator. You can see how it's done. And that's gonna attach, it's kinda of tricky, but you know that he, first of all, he's gotta get into the old clip, the cable retainer clip. And this bolt will secure both the bracket and that clip to the underside of that floating dual pulley housing right there. It's a little tricky. Whoops, you can see how it's, it is tricky. It's got it going. And then in a day, there you are. Manual dexterity is required. This seems very good. Skilled technician here. Now it's secured there. And a reason for this being the separator being on there is so that the four cables coming down which is one cable, but four strands coming down. Don't get tangled up. They have a tendency for this pulley housing to twist around. We don't want that to happen. So once this gets all tightened up, once he's got the pulley on the bottom, be placed. And we'll give it a dry run after we drop this back in place again. All right, so there we go. And let's see you take your now you got full attention and everything, and pretty much ready to go. And notice how the cable separator works. This could be turned just a little bit. He's gonna he's gonna tighten it up, but so it'll be flat. But you can see there's a little grommet in there to keep the metal piece from scarring the cable. And there you go. That's all there is to it. And the final touch will be another handle on this end. But you can see now that he has. It on correctly, you can easily put this handle back on. Here's the other handle right there. And this one, there you go. Ready to rock and roll. You can see how the cable separator works. Again, we haven't tightened it, but you can see the idea. That thing cannot twist because it's indexed on the other leg extension leg curl cable. Amen.